Hey, it's Simon here and I'm out in the village of Val Thérèse in the Free Valleys of France. This slope behind me is the slope that I learned to snowboard on nearly 14 years ago. That gave me the idea for this video. Is Val Thérèse a good place to learn to ski and snowboard? Well, let's go and check it out. It's worth noting that 50% of the trails in the Free Valleys are green or blue. I mean, there's plenty for beginners to sink their teeth into. Initially, your first turns are going to take place at one of the magic carpets. I wish these were here when I learned, but they're perfect for ensuring that your first lifts are not a scary experience and you can concentrate on learning. The first thing to notice about what has changed here in Val Terence, and this is brilliant for beginners, is the magic carpet. When I learned nearly 14 years ago, this wasn't here. That meant walking all the way back up after you did your run, which obviously made learning a lot more exhausting. As you go around the Val Trends beginners areas, there's a few of these magic carpets dotted about. So as you progress, you've got a few different areas where different steepness where you can practice your first turns. The main beginner slopes in Val Terence are in the centre of the village and can be really crowded. I remember this being a daunting place with more experienced skiers riding through the beginners areas. Young kids might benefit from taking lessons with ESF who have a segregated beginners area that avoids this problem. In addition to ESF and Pro Neige, there are plenty of other ski schools in Val Terence which ensures that lesson prices can remain competitive but be sure to shop around to find the best deal. Once you've completed your first lessons and are feeling confident to explore Val Terence, Cascades leads to the Ducoums Green Run leading back towards the village, whereas Les du Lax leads to the Traverse des du Lac. Those eager to nail their first blue run are sport for choice with Moraine, Moutier and Pioneers chairs all accessing decent blue terrain. Overall, I think that Val Terence has enough about it to offer beginner skiers and snowboards a great learning experience. Okay, so that's my thoughts on what it's like to learn here in Val Terence. I'd love to know more about your experience, where you learnt, so make sure to drop it down below in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video.